Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Flynn and I'm the owner and maker of Flynn Sisters Boutique. And today I'm gonna do a really quick and fun video on how to rhinestone a AirPods case. So a while back, I've done a TikTok on this and you guys went crazy over the TikTok. It got a lot of views, a ton of likes, and some people have asked for a tutorial on it. So super simple. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Flynn and I'm the owner and maker of Flynn Sisters Boutique. And today we're gonna do a really fun and easy video. I'm gonna show you how I rhinestone an AirPods case. Now I had done a TikTok on this a while back and it got a lot of views, a lot of likes, and a bunch of you asking for a tutorial on this and I just hadn't got around to it until now. And now that I sell my own rhinestones, <laughs> I'm even more excited to show you guys how I made this. So I hope you love the video. I'm gonna have all the products that you see listed and linked down below in the description box. So that's enough to chat for me. Let's go ahead and get started. We're starting with this blank AirPod Pro case. Obviously, you could get whatever kind of blank case you want. There's a ton of them on Amazon. I will link this one down below. I think they come in white and black. And for this design, I wanted to choose white because I figured it would be easier to base color. We want to prep our case first. So I'm going to take a nail file and scruff up all outer surfaces of our case. This particular case has a really pretty rose gold kind of outline along the edges of it. So I wanna be careful not to rough up that part, except for the rose gold band that goes through the center because I am going to be covering that part with the rhinestones. Once we've roughed up all the surfaces, I'm just going to clean it up with some rubbing alcohol and a paper towel. And now we're ready to base color this. Now, you don't have to base color your case blank if you don't want to. I just think it makes for a richer look, especially when we have a very colorful rhinestone mix against a white background. So I'm using an acrylic paint marker from Arteza today. This is magenta. Any nice acrylic marker will work for this though. Once I'm done base coloring my blank, I just let it dry for a few minutes. These acrylic paint markers are great because they do dry super fast. I'm gonna be using one of my new Flynn Sisters exclusive rhinestone mixes. This is Spring Court. It was inspired by one of my favorite book series, A Court of Thorn and Roses. And this is all the colors that I imagined in my head when I was reading about Spring Court. The glue I'm using today is liquid fusion that I've put into a syringe with a, I think it's an 18 millimeter tip. I don't know. I will link the syringe and the glue down in the description box. And anytime we're doing scatter method, we want to line the edge of our piece first. So if we're doing a tumbler, we want to do the top rim first. With this case, we want to go against the top edge of it. This one has that rose gold line kind of offset along the top rim. And we're gonna bring our first line of stones right up to that. We want to scatter our sizes along the top because the body of our piece will have the stones scattered as well. So it'll look kind of weird if we just use all one size along this top edge here. I think the hardest part about this is trying to balance the amount of glue. You don't want to have too much glue or too little glue. Also, this liquid fusion drives pretty fast, so you don't have a lot of working time. So it's kind of hard to strike that balance. If we had too much glue, it'll look kind of messy. So sometimes you'll see me wipe off some excess glue with the tip of my wax pencil. Then I will wipe off my wax pencil with a paper towel and keep on applying the stones. Once I got the top outlined really nicely, I set this upside down against my desk to dry for a few minutes before we moved on to filling in the body of our piece. You may find around some of these curved edges, you have to use a smaller stone in order for the back of the stone to sit perfectly flat. 
because in some places on this, if we put too big of a stone where it's really curved or rounded, the flat back of that stone will kind of rock and we don't want that. We want the whole back of the stone to be laying completely flat against our piece. After the top line was dry, I moved on to the body of my piece. You'll see that I put like kind of one thicker line of glue down and then spread it out with the tip of my wax pencil. Then I'd clean off my wax pencil and get to stoning. My Flynn Sisters exclusive rhinestone mixes include a variety of sizes between SS6 to SS30s in a variety of colors to create a beautiful custom mix. I do recommend if you're someone who likes to get all the stones on your scatter mix designs really close together to also purchase like a coordinating SS3 size stone. So SS3 is the smallest size rhinestone that we carry and having that on your back pocket when you're doing these designs really helps to fill in any of those tiny little gaps. In this case, I was using some SS3 Light Rose AB rhinestones that I had from a Light Rose AB multi-size pack. Once I got kind of close to the bottom where the charger hole is, I stopped and lined out the charger hole. Anytime we have stopping points like the top and bottom rim of something, we want to make sure that we kind of fill those in with a nice clean line first before we get too close and we run out of room and it just doesn't look as clean and put together. So that's all I'm doing here is lining out this charger hole before I move on to complete Complete the remainder of our piece. And about an hour later, we are almost done. I love filming the last little bit of stones that have to go into place before something's complete. It's so satisfying. And again, you're going to see me here add in some of those little SS3 stones that I have just to help fill in the last tiniest little bits of space. Once I completed the bottom portion of the case, I moved on to the top and did it in the same way. So first we're gonna outline the edge nice and neat. And then once we're done with that, we let it dry for a few minutes and then fill in the body. I let this dry for a couple days before I cleaned it up with a microfiber cloth, polishing all the wax off the stones. Then I added the little ring, the jump ring, that it comes with it comes with this little clippy clip ring super cute and then i put it onto my airpod pro case so these just snap into place they actually stay pretty well you don't want to be taking this off and on very often though because it'll loosen up and fall off easier but i just love how this turned out let me know what you guys think you can find this spring court rhinestone mix in my shop at flintsisterssupplyshop.com i'll have a link in the description box thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon And a big thank you to all of our Flynn Sisters exclusive members. Thank you for your pledge. Your support means the world to our channel. If you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.